Well, good morning, and first of all, I want to thank uh, General Ham, AUSA, and all the folks. Uh, most importantly, because of the Institute of Land Warfare and these kind of aviation uh, hot topic sessions they have, but in particular for the aviation hot topic. Um, I would say that unlike, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how I got put where I did in this program, but I think uh, my friend Carter Ham is having fun. Um, I mean, we just got done with General George and General Gaylor, who are the folks that know it all in Washington, D.C., inside the Beltway. We're about ready to get up with a panel of warfighters who are, I now understand what Washington will not and cannot do, so let me figure out how we will do it. And they're the folks that actually put it to work in the field. And I'm stuck kind of in the middle to say, here's how it works. So um, unlike my rock star friend, General Gaylor, uh, I have a face that I've been told for radio. And so I have a series of slides that we will go through quickly. Okay, next slide. I think it's important for you to note that uh, we just celebrated the 75th anniversary of Army Aviation uh, this last year. We also celebrated 60 years of Quad A, and next year we will celebrate 35 years uh, in April of the uh, aviation, Army Aviation becoming a branch in our Army. So it's hard to believe for many of us who were there when it took place that that's about to take place. What do we do? We support the Army Aviation soldier and family. And how do we do it? Through the four pillars we call network, recognition, voice, and support. And I'll go through that very quickly. Next slide. Uh, Quad A is an umbrella organization. It is, works in concert with organizations like AUSA in particular. I will tell you this is a, not a paid political announcement. This is how I feel. If you are a soldier, industry member, civilian, and you serve within DOD, but in particularly in the Army, you should, must, however you want to say it, be a member of AUSA and your branch's organization, in this case, Quadic. Those two organizations, to me, are exceptionally important. Um, we've got hundreds of chapters. We do annual meetings. We've got boards. Everything that you see up there is the same kind of work that's done by AUSA. And to talk about how close we work, today we've actually got a meeting with Carter Hand, Pat McQuestion, Guy Swan to sit down and look at how do we work better together. So next slide. This just shows you kind of where the chapters are. Uh, I, I walk through this 38 states and six countries because whenever I hear the guard, it's always, you know, 50 states and four, you know, territories and blah, blah, blah. They explain to me what are countries and what are territories. And so I'm now straight. Next slide is members. Uh, we're running right now today when I hung up the phone, we're at 17,330 members. Uh, going strong and next slide and we have 415 members in industry next slide recognition uh, I think you know what we found when we talked to a lot of professional organizations and there's actually organizations that bring all professional kind of groups like this together they talk about what are the trends how does it work what makes it best how do you support what you're trying to do and what we found out is one of the number one drivers is recognition and how do you recognize the accomplishments of your members and how do you recognize the accomplishments of your organization in furthering the benefits for those members so clearly uh, scholarships is big for us just like anybody else we gave out almost a half a million dollars last year uh, we've got the aviation hall of fame with 150 great uh, american heroes uh, We've got the Order of St. Michael along with uh, the uh, Order of the Night, and then, of course, magazines and special emphasis right now, really a big focus for me and working with the branch chief uh, and others is how do we work more to engage our young enlisted soldiers and young commissioned and warrant officers. Next slide. Voice. Uh, it's important to note that, uh, yeah, the chapters have a huge voice, and it's what do the members want and how are we doing it? But the thing that's uh, really critical, and we had it scheduled for tomorrow morning, is what we call the Army Aviation Caucus over on the Hill. Uh, 42 different members of the Congress uh, and their staff sit down and talk to aviation leaders about what's important to them and how do they do that, and we're facilitating that. However, uh, in concert with the branch chief and the six-pack with Doug Gabram and others, we all said, okay, we got a choice. We can force the caucus tomorrow or we can try to let Congress vote on the budget, on the debt ceiling, and on trying to get the Hurricane uh, Harvey uh, package passed. And so they really found themselves being overwhelmed, figured they're going to be working tonight 
and tomorrow morning till probably two or three in the morning trying to get some of that legislation done. So we have postponed that one. Uh, Quad A Senior Executive Associates is a group of three and four stars, not Army aviators, who come in and help the Army aviation leadership see themselves. It's not just us drinking our own bathwater, it's getting outside opinion in. And then, of course, I'll be going to uh, uh, Slovakia here shortly. We've been working with NATO, doing a lot of things on exactly what General Gaylor was talking about in terms of commonality. Next slide. Okay, for all you old folks in this room, these are all the way that young people communicate. Okay, uh, if you haven't seen that, don't know what those symbols are, get a hold of a young person and say, what does that one do? But that's the way we stay connected. And I will tell you, they are going more and more and more to online media and this kind of way to communicate. And they're not as interested as many of us were in the old hold the print and do that. How many people in here it used to read a newspaper? Raise your hand. How many of you are now doing it electronically? Yes, yeah, see? That's the, that's the point. Next slide. The support, I think we've already talked real quick. You know, it is, it is about scholarships. It's about giving back. It's, and the scholarships go to the soldiers, the family members, the spouses, which is critical to us. Uh, when our soldiers deploy, we make sure that they get free memberships uh, for 15 months so that they have a chance to deploy, engage, come back, and their membership that they had picks right up from there until they, their time to renew. Uh, we're working very closely with the Warren Officers Association, and we've got a super relationship now with the Vietnam Helicopter Pilots Association. And chapter funding, we do push money out. So next slide. Just some examples of what we've been doing. July, we lost a Black Hawk in an accident. Uh, you know, the problem is, is that we, the Army is real good, and take a note of this for you guys still in uniform. You're real, we're real good at helping once we've declared people lost, dead, or whatever else. But when families get the notification early on, we're very slow in the funding. And that's where organizations like Quad A can come in. And so we have helped with the accident at uh, um, uh, Campbell. We did help with the uh, loss of the Black Hawk and the personnel there in Hawaii. We're already actively involved in Hurricane Hurry down, uh, Her Her Harvey down in uh, Texas with both the chapters there. And we're reaching out to uh, Louisiana and now into Florida to see what's going to happen there. So next slide. This is just an example of grateful people. Uh, you know, those houses were where you see the garage door, you see the change in paint about two feet above it, that's where the water line was, and all that stuff outside on the street, and there's tons of it, is the stuff that had to come out of those houses and it's gonna be thrown away. So we were there and be able to help with them some early on money. Next line. We are here for the entire Army aviation community, but as General Gaylor said, and the reason we, credit this relationship with AUSA so heartily, is we exist as a maneuver arm. We are part of the arm. Everybody in this room at one time either has been, but many of us started in the combat arms and became aviators. Now we have a professional aviation branch, but we are dedicated and committed to our brown, ground brother uh, in everything we do. I want to thank everybody for your time, and I just want you to remember we never, ever forget our number one mission, which is taking care of the Army aviation soldier and family. Thank you very much.